Ah, the smell of the sea, the fresh wind and this beautiful view. I'm so happy and thankful to live in Sweden where I can be out in nature and do all those things that I want to do like photography, bird spotting, camping. Sweden is truly an amazing country when it comes to outdoor activities. So I'm really privileged and happy to live here. Hi everyone and welcome back to yet another video. Today I want to be a little bit more spontaneous than I was in my most previous video. In that video I was out in a woodland and I had this mental image of a woodland stream that I wanted to capture, but I couldn't find it. I was out there in the woodland for two hours, wasting time. <laughs> so today I want to be more spontaneous and I'm just going to spend some time here by the sea and see what I can see. And I think I'm going to start with photographing some shorebirds because I can see them maybe 50 meters up the coastline. <laughs> and they aren't that shy, so maybe I can get really close to them and get really great video clips and photos of them. So I'm going to start with that. And also I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to a couple of people. Kenneth, Mike, Rolf and Christian. Thank you for your continuous support of my channel. You're members and I'm really <laughs> grateful for that. And if you want to help this channel to grow, you could also become a member. And you could subscribe or give this video a thumbs up. All those things really help this channel to grow and I'm really thankful for all your support. <laughs> okay, enough talking. Let's go and see if we can photograph those shorebirds. I'm gonna start with my 70 to 200 millimeter lens and if that's too short of a focal length I can always change to my 400 millimeter lens but let's start with this one and I'm not gonna chase or hunt the birds <laughs> I'm just gonna pick a spot and sit down and hopefully they will come closer because I know out of experience that some of these species of shorebirds aren't that shy so hopefully they will come closer when I'm out in nature like this, I often capture both photo and video. And for that purpose, I have been using a variable and a filter for many years. But that filter has a yellowish color cast to it, so all the footage come out a little bit yellow. So I have never been fully satisfied with that filter. And also, all the variable and the filter has the polarizing effect. So. I've never been completely satisfied with that filter. So instead I purchased a free stop magnetic filter from Case. So now I take pictures and now I do video. So this works, this combination works really nice for me with a magnetic filter. It's really easy to use. So yeah, let's see if I can get a bird in frame. Ah, 200 millimeters is a little bit too short of a focal line for photographing birds, so let's go and change to the 400 millimeter lens. So this is my 400 millimeter lens with a 1.4 teleconverter. So I'm at 560 millimeters. So this will take me a lot closer to the birds. And I can easily transfer the ND filter to this lens, like so. So yeah, let's get back to it.
I'm not sure it was a lot of fun, but now it's time to move on and see if we can find some landscape photography shots. So yeah, let's keep going. A slight change of plan, guys. You can see behind me some really heavy rainfall and I don't have my waterproofs with me and I don't want to get soaking wet. so. I'm gonna retreat back to my car and see what tomorrow morning has in store for me. So I see you tomorrow morning. morning I'm here by the sea <laughs> and I'm waiting for the sunrise I've been at that spot at this spot maybe 30 times at sunrise but I never gotten that really spectacular and awesome sunrise where the entire uh, sky turns red but I, I haven't given up on that I, it probably won't happen today but I'm gonna keep coming to this uh, location and uh, hopefully someday I will get that really, really saturated and beautiful sunrise. But for now, we're gonna work with what we have. And the sunrise is in maybe 20 minutes. So, yeah, let's see what, what's gonna happen. Every sunrise has its own unique qualities and I'm, I'm really happy I was here for this one. So beautiful. And I've been doing some minimalistic photography as usual when I come to this location. I love the horizon, the sea and just what the, the sky offers when it comes to clouds. So hopefully I got a couple of sort of abstract photos this time as well. I do have a couple of hours before it's time to go back home. So I'm gonna do some exploring and I'm on the northern side of uh, Hornslandet and I'm gonna go through the forest and to a beach that I have never been to before. And just looking at the map, I can't really tell if it's uh, a rocky beach or if it's a sandy beach, but it looks interesting. So let's go and have a look. All right, so it's a sandy beach, but it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It looked a lot larger on the map. But it's a really nice, cozy little cove here with this sandy beach. There's even a small stream at the edge of the beach. So <laughs> I'm glad I came here. 
It's so fun to explore new locations. It's really nice there, it really is. But I can't find an opportunity for landscape photography. So maybe I have time to go to one more location before it's time to go back home. So I'm gonna go from this location all the way up to this little lake here. And hopefully there's something interesting there. So let's keep going. Well, it seems I can't find anything else to photograph this morning. Now the sun is really high up in the sky and uh, the, the light is really harsh. Sure, I could resort to black and white photography, but ah, I feel like it's time to go back home. And uh, I do feel like I've been a little bit more spontaneous this, this weekend, but unfortunately it didn't yield any more opportunities for landscape photography. But that's fine, it's all about being out here in nature. And that's not an excuse for not getting good photos. It really, really is about being out there in nature. That's what it's all about. It's so nice. But for my next video, I have something really interesting coming up. <laughs> I have my yearly trip planned to the Swedish mountains. And it's uh, autumn here in Sweden. And the colors are going to be really amazing up there in the mountains. So I'm just going to go back to work for three days and then I have four days up there in the mountains. So that's going to be really interesting. I hope you tune in next week. <laughs> All right, guys, time to end the video. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. I really appreciate that. Bye for now.